Tua Tagovailoa has mm-hmm. is one of what two quarterbacks in the NFL not named team captain. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you something, Jay. What does that mean? I think it means everything for Brian, Brian Flores, the head coach of the Dolphins, because there's an opportunity here. Look, look, nobody's going to give you the damn torch. You have to go take it. And last year, watching Tua, yeah, okay, threw for 1,800 yards, went 6-3, and three, had 11 touchdowns, five interceptions. But he still spent a lot of time with Ryan Fitzpatrick and was benched a lot of times in games where he was playing. So for me, not understanding the playbook last year, which is something he admitted to this, this offseason, this summer, spending time with the team, around teammates, that's what I want to see from you. But this is like, have you ever put something on layaway, Max? I know, Ke- I know I have back Man, in the day when, when I was younger. My parents had Michael it. Jordan had a basketball, a black and red basketball, okay? In like, I don't remember, it was 1984 or something like that at Paragon Athletics down in uh, like 17th Street. It was eight bucks I put it on layaway. There you okay? go. Okay, so we all had an experience with layaway, Key. Like, Tua right now, like, that's layaway. Yeah. Like, you have to keep giving me money until, give me equity. Show me that you want this until I give it to you. And that's, what, that's what's happening. I think it's the best scenario for Tua because now he has to go out and take it. What about that, Key? Is it, what does it mean that Tua is not named captain yet? It, you know, I, I, don't, I don't really know the way that the Dolphins have constructed their voting in terms of who gets the right to vote. I don't know if the coaches are picking it or if the players are. But let's assume, let's assume that it's the players, mm-hmm. right? And, and the coaches get, from my experience, you pick, the coaches get it, they go and tally it up and come back. Now, I've been on teams before where we questioned some of those votes because it was like, well, wait a minute, man. That guy shouldn't be the captain. This dude should be the captain. But what I would say is it starts with the players in the locker room. And if the players in the locker room aren't the ones voting, the, I mean, the ones voting and they did not vote for him, then that tells me that they don't really have that trust in him to be that leader just quite yet. Okay. Maybe that comes later on down the line, but right now they feel like somebody else should lead them, and he's not ready to lead. It, it, talking about Tua Tungvaloa yeah. not being named captain of the I, Dolphins. I, I One I of only two quarterbacks not to be team captain. I, I don't think that's the case. Well, the, the players did vote in this situation. They did vote, and guys like Xavier Howard, Xavier Howard, Byron Jones, Jerome Baker, the talented, most talented star players for the Dolphins didn't get selected as captains either. So guys like Mac Hollins got selected as a captain. Well, two right? admitted he didn't I, know the playbook last it, year. Well, fair, but when Mac Hollins gets selected, he was potentially going to be a release. Right. He was going to get released. So I think the players voted on guys that they thought were stable that could just provide that type of outlook for the franchise. I don't think it has to do anything with star players. I think we're going to make it an indictment on a guy like Tua. I think he can use it as motivation. But I, from what I hear from people inside that camp, and I've talked to people inside that camp, they all believe that he's taking the right steps to own this team. I think it's the way they went about voting. Key, you ever been team captain? No, no. I've been voted, I don't know, in my career, both in college and in the pros, probably, I would say, four to five different times, but I never wanted to take it on. I just was like, no, I'm good. Why? Like, Hold on. What, not, what do you take on as team captain, and why did you turn that down? Well, you got, because I don't, I don't, I just, it's too much to deal with. I already got enough to have to deal with by playing and being a leader by example. I don't need to be a leader to be a captain, to sit in a room and make decisions on what food we're eating and how we're going to travel. No, I got other things, gotta, other you business flip to worry a coin. about. Like, what, it's too much to flip a <laughs> no. coin? You're too busy to yes. flip a coin? Too busy to flip a coin. I don't want to go out there. I don't I want that responsibility. <laughs> In my entire career, I probably went out for the uh, the toss maybe once, mm-hmm. and that might have been a preseason game. Mm-hmm. So it's just because I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. You know, because they come to you and tell you beforehand, hey, you're going to go out for the toss. And you don't even have to be a captain to go out for the toss. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm good, man. Let, let somebody yeah, else I was do that. Even, even if you don't deal. have a C on your chest as captain, like, the team still knows who the best players are. The team still knows well, who not the even leaders about, are. You it's, know not I mean? even, it's not even about the best player. It's about the leadership. I didn't need to be a captain mm-hmm. for people to follow. Mm-hmm. People already knew my leadership skill is well that's documented. What's, so I, that's one of the things I'm like, I don't yeah, that's, I'm with you that's what's The thing about Tua is if you're not – I hear what you're saying, Jay. Like a lot of their best – 
players and veteran players are not leaders of the offense, defense, whatever, technically, right? Mm -hmm. Even if they are. But in Tua's case, Fitzpatrick was there last year, as you said, mid-game. Talk yeah. about give me, give me the damn ball, Key. They were, <laughs> coach was like, give me the damn ball. I gave it to Fitzpatrick mid-game a, a, more than once, right? He has not – like, Justin Herbert is the quarterback of the Chargers for years to come. You know, Trevor Joe Lawrence. Burrow yep. is going to be the quarterback for years to come. Even at this point, you look at Justin Fields, you'd be shocked if he wasn't for years to come. Obviously, Trevor Lawrence, number one overall pick. Tua, we, it, this is kind of like a show-me year for him. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that make a difference, the fact that he didn't cement but, the job long-term as a high first-round pick and he's not captain? But, Max, that, that, that comes from your teammates voting you in. They don't feel comfortable about him being the captain. They don't feel like his leadership skills are there or else they would have voted him in as captain. That's why I say they make the decision. Now, whether or not the coaches honor that decision is another mm -hmm. thing. And, but I know just being in the locker rooms that I've been on teams that the players vote, the coaches tally it up. Now, it doesn't mean that the coaches didn't drop a few of the little slips along the way that had his name on it. I don't know. I have no idea. But clearly, they don't feel comfortable with him being the captain for whatever reason. Whether he becomes a captain. What if he was a captain and in week four he's traded? Or, yeah. Or, you know. Uh, yeah. Because That's what I'm saying. His future is a, uncertain. You cannot have a captain. You cannot have a captain being benched. Right. Right. You just ding, you, you ding, can't ding. do it. He's his you can't do this it. guy who a couple of years ago, he's a future star in the NFL. His future is uncertain. He has a team that's ready to win now if they can get good quarterback play. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.